All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, as you guys saw from the title, in a few days from now, the Peppy Gals category is going to be getting a huge buff on the global side of the game in the form of four new Extreme Z Awakenings and also a brand new character that has never appeared in the game before. Now, unfortunately, the Margarita is not part of the Peppy Gals category, but she is also coming soon, so we will be talking about her. But the new Peppy Gals unit is actually the Tech Kawei. I think that's how you say her name. I might have mispronounced it. If I did, that's my bad. But she's the new Peppy Gals unit and she is very good. And on top of that, we also have the uh, Peppy Gals Extreme Z Battle event. So we're getting the EZAs for the Int Videl, the Tech Android 18, the AGL Future Mai, the GT Pan, who is not uh, Peppy Gals, but she's also part of this, and uh, finally the Fizz Youth Bulma. So, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of uh, what each of these new units do so that you guys can be fully prepared for it. So, uh, with that said, why don't we start with the two new units first, and then we'll talk about the Extreme Z Awakenings. So, starting with the AGL Margarita, who once again is not a Peppy Gals unit. Her leader skill is going to be University 11 category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, supreme damage, lowers attack, and seals super attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 110%, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 11% with each attack performed, up to 44%, University 11 category allies, key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 40%, Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple category allies, attack and defense plus 20%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there is another University 11 uh, category ally attacking in the same turn. So as you can see, she basically has a lot of similarities to some of the other Angel units we had before, like uh, Bados and uh, Whis in terms of the uh, dodging and also the support. And her links are Innocent, Brainiacs, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, and Shattering the Limit. And her categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, Bond of Master and Disciple, Universe 11, and Space Traveling Warriors. Now, moving on to the tech Away. Leader skill is Peppy Gals category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And passive is key plus 2. Attack and defense plus 140%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%. When performing a super attack, high chance of stunning the attacked enemy, medium chance of an additional key plus 2. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack. Medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Attacks effective against all when performing a super attack if the target enemy is in attack down status or the target enemy super attack is sealed and then performs a critical hit on stunned enemies. So there is quite a bit of RNG going on in her passive here, but uh, she can dodge, she has additional supers. She can stun, she can get guaranteed crits, so she basically does a little bit of everything. And uh, on an event like the Peppy Gal Super Battle Road or Extreme Super Battle Road stages, she could be very, very useful. And her links are the Innocent, Fleet, Coward, Infighter, Battlefield Diva, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Peppy Gals and Universe Survival Saga. And uh, both the Kawei and also the Margarita will be dropping with the uh, Rising Dragon Carnival Double Rates Banner, which is dropping on Global in about four days from the time this video comes out. Now, jumping over to the Extreme Z Battle and the Extreme Z Awakenings, uh, just a quick look at the event. The weakness is the Peppy Gals category, and uh, in terms of the levels, it's the same as most Extreme Z Battle events in this game. So, between levels 1 to 30, you're getting one Dragonstone per clear. We're getting the Extreme Z Awakening medals for all five units, along with some potential orbs of each type. And then after level 9, characters that are SSR rarity or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage. 
and after level 14, there's additional damage reduction of 80% against all AGL type units. So ideally, you don't want to bring any AGL units on your team from level 15 onwards. And uh, that's pretty much it. So once you complete the first 30 levels, you're looking at 30 dragon stones, a bunch of potential orbs, and also all the extremes the awakening medals you need to fully extremes the awaken all five units so uh, that is the extreme z battle now let's start with the details for the int fidel before her extreme z awakening her leader skill was int and str types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 60 percent super attack supreme damage and lowers attack and defense and uh, passive attack and defense plus 15 percent per peppy gals category ally on the team Attack the enemy's attack minus 20% for 2 turns and recovers 20% of damage dealt as HP. Now with the EZA, new leader skill is Int and STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack raises attack, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 20%, her Peppy Gals category ally on the team plus an additional defense plus 80% when performing a super attack, Attack enemies attack and defense minus 20% for 2 turns and then recovers 20% of HP. Or sorry, recovers 20% of damage dealt as HP. So she is a great healer, arguably one of the best healers in the entire game. And uh, she gets more attack and defense per orb, she gets more defense on her super attack. And uh, pretty much everything else I believe stays the same. So that's the Int Fidel Extreme Z Awakening. Now moving on to the tech Android 18, who is pretty crazy. So before the EZA, leader skill was tech and fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns, and passive is attack and defense plus 14% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 1% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. So basically, if you had a full Peppy Gals team, she was getting uh, attack and defense plus 21% per key sphere. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill is Tech and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack, supreme damage, seal super attack, and raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns. And passive is attack and defense plus 18% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. Attack and defense plus 18% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 2% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. Evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and stuns the attacked enemy when HP is 18% or less. So, this last part of our passive might not really come into use too often because a lot of times you're either, you know, above 18% HP or you're dead. It's kind of hard to be like, below 18% and still be alive, right? But it could come in clutch for sure. But the insane part of this unit is the just nuking passive, man. I mean, first of all, she's getting a base boost of uh, attack and defense plus almost 20% for every Peppy Gals on the team. So she's getting up to something like 100 and let's say 30%? Something like that, like 130% with uh, a full Peppy Gals team. But then she's also getting 18% uh, attack and defense for every key sphere obtained, but if you're running a full Peppy Gals team, then that becomes attack and defense plus 32%. 32% attack and defense with every key sphere, which is just, I mean, it seems like too much. Obviously, her stats are not going to be like too crazy, but she's still going to be hitting extremely hard, and she's still going to be getting some pretty wild defense, so... Um, somebody, as I've said before, at the uh, Bandai slash Akatsuki headquarters clearly loves Android 18, man, because this EZA is just ridiculous, man. But uh, of course, I'm not complaining because I am the biggest Android 18 fan in the world, so uh, this makes me very happy. So that is the Android 18. Uh, moving on to the AGL Mai before the EZA. Leader skill, AGL and int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack supreme damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy, and passive, all allies key plus 3, AGL types, attack and defense plus 20%, Peppy Gals category allies, chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%. After the Extreme Z Awakening, AGL and int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack, 
greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. And then passive is attack and defense plus 100%, all allies keep plus 3, AGL types, attack and defense plus 20%, Peppy Girl's category allies, attack and defense plus 30%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 15%, for seize enemy super attacks when HP is 50% or less. So of course this unit is still uh, focused on supporting, and uh, she does it very well because she's giving key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30% to all Peppy Gals, but if you happen to have a AGL type Peppy Gals unit, then she's giving key plus 3, attack and defense plus 50%, and the ability to see enemy super attacks is one of my favorite things in this entire game, so I love that. And uh, of course, she still has the great chance to stun, which means that she's going to be consistently stunning in things like Super Battle Road. So that's the AGL Mai. And now we have the uh, STR GT Pan, who is very good, but unfortunately not in Peppy Gals. So before the Extremes the Awakening, leader skill is tech and STR types keep plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns, and then passive chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks plus 15%, at the start of each turn up to 60%, attack plus 70% and defense plus 120% for 7 turns from start of turn. After Extremes the Awakening, leader skill, attack and STR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns, and then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks plus 15% at the start of each turn up to 60%, and then key plus 3 plus an additional defense plus 120% for 7 turns from start of turn. So of course, a very good Extreme Z Awakening, but I do wish that they had just gotten rid of the turn restriction here to make her better for longer events. But if we're talking about strictly like Super Battle Road or Dokkan events and things like that, then it doesn't really matter too much because most of those events or most of the fights within Super Battle Road are not going to last longer than 7 turns. But uh, I just don't think this was that necessary. Otherwise, she is going to be a very good tank who does some decent damage and uh, of course the 60% chance to dodge is uh, definitely going to come in clutch in harder events. So that is the Pan and finally we have the Fizz Bulma. So without the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is AGL and Fizz types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%, super attack, supreme damage and recovers 8800 and 88 HP. And passive is key plus 4 at the start of turn, recovers 8,888 HP per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. With the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is AGL and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack causes supreme damage and recovers 5% HP. And passive is key plus 4, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack evaded, up to 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received, up to 50%, recovers 5% HP per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So just like the... Um, Bedell, she's going to be an excellent healer. In theory, you could heal up to 30% of your HP every turn. Of course, that's with uh, 5 Rainbow Key Spheres, which is not you know, something you're going to get a lot, but she will be healing you consistently every turn. Um, Bedell is more damage-based, where she's, you know, of course, more RNG-based, uh, depending on how many Rainbow Key Spheres you can get, right? But uh, she's getting a pretty big boost for attack and defense and her passive. She has the ability to dodge, so uh, yeah, pretty solid Extreme Z Awakening as well. I would say all of these Extreme Z Awakenings are very impressive, but the one that really stood out to me, and I might be a little bit biased, is the Tech Android 18 Extreme Z Awakening. I mean, 32% attack and defense per key sphere obtained on top of a base boost of up to like 130%. Um, is just wild man i mean that's just a lot of attack and defense so i think android 18 is the one that i'm personally the most excited for but i'm sure a lot of you guys already knew that 
And uh, yeah, if you guys have been struggling with any events where you can bring Peppy Gals, especially the Super Battle Road stages, then these Extreme Z Awakenings along with the uh, Tech Away will help you a lot. So that is going to be today's video. Hope you guys are excited for the uh, EZAs as well as the upcoming Double Rates banner. Now, I don't necessarily recommend for people to summon on this banner, but uh, if you are going to, and I wish you the best of luck, hopefully you pull a bunch of LRs and uh, also some Margaritas and Koways along the way. So yeah, with that said, that is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.